Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Butler with AutoTech Solutions. So the project that I'm going to overview with you is basically uh, a production line pickup to drop off at an automated storage and retrieval system. This is a custom designed conveyor top to work with pallets in a side orientation. The pallets will come onto the bot at the production line area and then the bots will autonomously travel with the payload to our scissor lifts. So for this customer, like many customers, a big initiative for them is automation within their facilities, specifically for the warehouse. It's how do we eliminate labor dependency and how do we increase just reliability and efficiency in the warehouse? The AMRs do a great job of providing those functionalities to customers. Our customer really desired the ability to scale their operation. We're basically designing the entire warehouse to be intelligently designed for automation. So this is really phase one of a three phase project that we're working with the customer on. Phase one is basically bringing production line pallets to their ASRS and loading them in there. A lot of the conversations that started with the customer was looking at their facility first. How much space do we have? How, what's the travel distance of the robots? What's the pick point look like? What does the drop off look like? And what do we need for safety? A safety is paramount with all these systems. The robots themselves have integrated safety on them, but for us, we wanna make sure that we're double and triple checking our safety. As we mate the, the robot to the conveyor, we're actually going, we can see that on the fleet manager. The fleet manager is looking at all three robots at the same time. You have the ability to pause and play every robot from the uh, fleet manager. You can see the whole system, how it's orchestrated, who's moving where, how much charge you have on your robots. Okay, so what we're seeing right now You'll notice by the green color of the, the lights around the robot, that's indicating to me that the robot's in a safe position for me to approach. Uh, the bot uses LiDAR and 3D imaging to know its surroundings, so it has to have some fixed points to be able to reference. That's basically allowing uh, the robot to use that as a docking target to know exactly where it needs to be positioned to make the transfer to our conveyor. Basically, there's a handshake between our conveyor top and our PLC that says I'm in position, I'm ready to make the transfer. Now we transfer the load. After the transfer has been made and we know that we're clear, the gate will come back up and then the bot will proceed on its route. 